Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more lore and loot Morrowind. This is it. The moment we have been waiting for. The thing we have been working so hard to achieve. Today, we finish the Fighter's Guild questline. We start, as we have been for a while now, by talking to our friend Perseus, Mercius. If we ask him for advancement, we cannot advance any further without going to Sioring like Hardheart. But people. if we ask him about orders, he tells us that there is one more thing we need to do before we are called Guildmaster. We must kill Hardheart. If we ask him more, he'll tell us that we need to kill Sioring Hardheart in order to free the Fighters Guild from corruption. He'll give us an iron key and give us access to his personal quarters, where we can find some armor that may come in handy in the upcoming fight. This also triggers the quest, Kill Hardheart. We can ask him a little bit more about the armor, and he'll tell us that he received the Orcish set after proving a friend's innocence, and the glass set after helping defeat some blighted creatures in Margon. Now let's go to his room and check this out. Now, the Orcish armor is great medium armor, and while it's not a full set, it's missing the helm, it would be great if you're a medium armor type. The glass armor is not a full set either, but it is the best light armor in the base game. If you want a full breakdown of all light armor in Morrowind, check out my light armor guide. I'm going to leave a link in the description section below. Now Perseus told us that Hard Heart is a tough enemy. So, before you face him, you should make sure you are properly prepared with potions scrolls, magic items, or whatever else you think you will need. And that your arms and armor are fully repaired. <laughs> you, you wouldn't want your sword to break in the middle of this fight. Okay, I'm listening. We know where Sioring is. Okay, I'm listening. We're gonna head over to Vivek City by Guild Guide and just walk on over. Now, despite the fact that Perseus told us that Sioring is waiting for us, you'll find that he does not attack us on sight, nor does he attack us if we talk to him. No, no, no. Ah, we'll have to get him to attack to us Welcome. by taunting him. Do take note, though. You can ask him about orders right here, and he'll give you the quest to kill the heads of the Thieves' Guild, along with 5,000 septums. This is a nice little exploit if you're looking for some extra gold, but I'm not going to do this. I will buff with... Everything I have, though, and I'll taunt him until he wants to fight me. Now, we're much stronger this time than the last time we fought him in our alternate timeline. So we will make a very quick work of him. Now, as you may recall, there are two chests here. One here on the floor, one on the desk. The one on the desk always has 25 gold, but the big chest here on the floor will have a randomized enchanted item. Sadly, we get the same one we got on our last encounter with him. The armor piece called Heartwall. Now I've gotten the Dwemer Boots of Flying here before, which is a much better reward, but oh well. Also, don't forget to read the book on the table, The Wraith's Wedding Dowry, to boost your unarmored skill. With Sioring dead, we can head back and talk to Perseus Mercius in you Alderaan. Like very good company. Welcome. When we get here, we'll tell him that Sioring is dead, and he declares us Master of the Fighters Guild in Vardenfell. However, he also tells us not to let our guard down. Bad times are coming, not just for the Fighters Guild, but for all of Tamriel. His words, of course, end up being true. 
as we find out in future games. He also tells us to be a good leader and to guide the guild down the path of justice. With all of this done, we can head back to his personal room and take our armor sets to sell later, or to display, or wear, whatever. Also, there is a book on the table, the Axe Skill Book, The Third Door. Make sure you read it if you want a free level in the Axe Skill. And that does it. The entire and full story of the Fighters Guild in Vardenfell. We've done everything there is to do and collected every reward there is to collect in the entire game when it comes to the Fighters Guild. This is a wondrous We've learned encounter. the entire and full story as well. Sadly, we cannot give anyone any jobs or quests as Guildmaster and there really isn't any... There aren't any perks with being master of the guild. It's just kind of like a title and like you're done. That's it. So what comes next for our heroine, Nephthys? What will she do now? For a matter of fact, what will we do now? Will we run a mage and do the mage's guild? Perhaps a sneak thief and join the thieves guild. Maybe we'll do one of the houses. Perhaps we'll join one of the two religious organizations in Vardenfell. Stay tuned to find out. Once again, thank you for joining me for this episode of Lore and Loot. If you enjoy the series, if you've liked this series so far, please consider subscribing to the channel. Definitely leave a comment below and give this video a thumbs. Up, down, sideways, I don't care, just give it a thumbs. Again, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.